Since joining Britain's Got Talent's panel of judges in 2007, Simon Cowell has made significant decisions for the program, including who he wants to sit next to him on the panel and when to click the dreaded red buttons. Following David Walliams' resignation as a judge on Britain's Got Talent, Alan Kerr claims he confronted Simon Cowell after feeling snubbed for the position. Back in November 2022, when David Walliams left the British talent competition, Bruno Tonioli, a former Strictly Come Dancing judge, took over right away. The comedian Alan recently acknowledged confronting Simon about his decision to not appoint him as a judge and getting a very calm response. After losing out to Bruno in the audition for the part, Alan ran with Simon a week later at Amanda Holden's home while she was having a party. Amanda Holden said the next week, Alan, I'm having a party, and I went great, he recalled to the mail. I love it. I enter and oh my goodness, Simon is there. Os asterisk asterisk asterisk. I went over there and said, my wrist has been hurting all weekend practicing that bloody buzzer and you went for Bruno, as I always do. He mimicked the music mogul, saying in imitation, Alan, that's show business. Alan said that he had a meeting with ITV executives earlier this year and had anticipated getting the position of replacing David. He had previously planned the costumes he would wear to the auditions because he was so confident that he had landed the part. Regarding the moment he learned Bruno had been cast in the part, he continued, I had a meeting with them and they said, oh yeah, and they said I'd find out, but I didn't realize it until Monday that Bruno had been chosen for the position. I'm not exactly sure what happened. ITV and Simon's reps have been contacted by express.co.uk for comment. Despite failing to land a spot on BGT, Alan was able to land a spot opposite radio DJ Zoe Ball on an upcoming talent program. Alan will start serving as a Mamma Mia judge on October 22. I have a dream, a talent competition to discover new performers for Judy Kramer's West End Productions' Sophie and Sky. Alan acknowledged, with talent shows I think there is a bit of cynicism, but we just wanted this to be very organic, very nice, taking inspiration from Simon's methods over the years. Simply said, we're fair and firm in a kind way. The talent showcases of today are kindlier and a little bit friendlier. They are children. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Talent Show, and stay with us.